Human life is meant for self-realization, to understand our relationship with God, with Krishna. Our relationship is eternal. Eternal means it does not have any beginning and no end. So this relationship is for forever. And human life is to understand this relationship with Krishna and to dedicate ourselves to this relationship. Brahmacharya means life of celibacy. Unfortunately, this uh, Brahmacharya, the life of celibacy and this lifestyle is uh, beyond understanding, is incomprehensible to the vast majority of the human society at the present age. Some principle of Krishna conscious philosophy like service to God, service to Krishna, simple living and high thinking, being vegetarian and no intoxication, an open-minded person, an intelligent person can understand and appreciate it. But the principle of celibacy and austerity is still beyond his understanding. Some even think that uh, this uh, austerity and celibacy is unnatural, strange and fanatism. So the common man is not going to understand and appreciate it. And certainly it is not meant for common man. In Krishna consciousness, we devotees stand apart from general masses. Our lifestyle is different and of a general public there is different. In the society, they are liberal in man-woman relationship. There is a free sex. Their society is like a mini hell full of suffering. The society is a mess. We devotees have taken decision to walk on a different path. The philosophy of general public is eat, drink and be merry. They are misguided. We cannot compromise our philosophy to satisfy a misguided person who don't know the aim of life, the goal of life and what to speak of attaining it. Our goal is Krishna. And we are ready to do whatever is necessary to attain Him. And why should we fall down, descend into a stool pit of material enjoyment? In Brahmachari life, we train ourselves for developing knowledge and detachment, Vairagya Vidya. And because of this, we learn how to control our senses. So we are no more agitated by the demand of senses and thus uh, we enjoy life into Krishna consciousness and renunciation and thus we prepare ourselves to return back home, back to Godhead, to go to the kingdom of God. The Vedic scriptures repeatedly warn man to not to be captivated by the charms of women and similarly Vedic scriptures also want women to remain alert and not to be attached to men. For women, Maya, the illusion appears in the form of man. And as long as man and woman are attached to each other for material enjoyment, they remain dangerous to each other. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted from devotees to maintain the highest standard in bhakti. So we should know what high standards are and we should sincerely try to follow it. And if we maintain the high standard in bhakti, then sincere and intelligent people will become impressed and they will become attracted. But if we do not keep high standards in our bhakti, if we do not sincerely practice uh, devotional service, bhakti, then what is the use of uh, our being devotee?